jesteśmy bezpieczni. Norman Park przed występem na gali IFM. Będzie walka z Maciejem Jewtuszką, będzie walka w boksie, o ile się nie mylę, na małe rękawice. To już kolejny taki pojedynek, który przyjąłeś. Co takiego jest w tej walce na małe rękawice, że, że tak chętnie przystępujesz do tego typu pojedynku? Fighting with Maciej Jewtuszko on, EF, on EFM Show 2 will be your next fight in boxing, in small gloves. What is interesting about it that you are taking that kind of fights? Um, well, it was actually due to fight Kanchai at first in MMA, so um, the fight couldn't happen because I've never got to train grappling a lot. So I was just coming off that fight with Don Cassius with boxing. So I said, right, let's see what this guy wants to fight boxing instead. And um, he was only asked once and he said no. And he, was n he wanted to fight after that there, but uh, Norbert says no. So. They already offered my Jeff Tusco to fight, and we've got history before. We were meant to fight in a few different shows, so that's how that fight happened. So, as long as I'm fighting, I'm happy. Tłumaczyć, czy by, tak? E, miał być najpierw, miała być najpierw walka z Władysławem Kanczewem na EFM Show 2 na zasadach MMA, mm, ale e, tutaj nastąpiła zmiana. Norman chciał walczyć w boksie, tamten się nie zgodził, później się zgodził, ale wtedy już był załatwiony je w tuszko. No i Normanowi się podoba ta forma walki i na pewno jej nie będzie odmawiał. Podoba się mimo tego, co spotkało Cię przy okazji walki z Don Cassio właśnie, bo tam masa kontrowersji i ostatecznie zmiana jakby w wyniku tego pojedynku, jak tą sytuację teraz oceniasz? I think I know what you said. You understand? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I think I know. Uh, you like the idea of fighting in box and in small glove, even though with Don Cassio there was many controversies and uh, um, the decision will, was changed finally. So uh, is that okay with you? I won every round in the fight. So the only controversy was because Fat Boy Boxdale came in, me, 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 with the microphone, and he's lucky. I don't get him next. That could be very easy money for me to fight this guy next. So, Boxdale? yes, yes. He says he wants to fight me. I says, mate, you need to lose a, at least 20 kilograms. You're fat. You're out of shape. You're ugly. And like, you know, if I just put you to the ground, it'd be like a, uh, like a seal. <laughs> He wouldn't be able to get up. It would be game over. I could play with him on the ground. So I don't know what the controversy was all about. You know, if they want me to make the fight clear, I'll fight this guy with his small gloves next time. Not these big 14-inch uh, gloves they gave us to fight the last time because I know the gloves says 10-inch gloves, but them gloves were 100% heavier than 10-inch. I want to fight him with 8-inch gloves or 4-inch gloves next time. So hmm. You will fight two times in almost three weeks. It's hard to, to get physical condition for, for two fights in boxing. Um, this is three rounds, three minutes. This is just warm up for me. This is my breakfast. So <laughs> I already said it. She told me. <laughs> and then uh, the fight with Boris is going to be a tougher fight, obviously, because we're going to fight uh, small gloves. We're going to just stand toe to toe for the whole 15 minutes straight, no rest. So that's an interesting fight. but. Um, Unless there's blood on my face, then I'm not going to be happy, you know. If there's blood on my face, then you know I'm going to be in a good fight. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that fight with Boris, for sure. After I get rid of this bum Jeff Tusco first, I need to send him into retirement forever. Uh, so he doesn't think about uh, competing again ever. Go to coaching or something. You're that age now, stay to coaching. And... Uh, Fighting three weeks apart is no problem. It's fine for me. Because I don't have to kill myself to make weight or anything. The fight's just maybe like 80 kilograms. I'm 84 kilograms, so that's no problem. Very long. It was very long. Um, najpierw rozprawię się z, ty, z tą łajzą Jewtuszko, później zawalczę z Borysem Mańkowskim. Lubię walczyć często, mam dobrą formę. Jak, będę, jak mam krew na rękawicach, czuję się dobrze. I tyle, zapamiętałam. <laughs> Ale Maciek Jewtuszko powiedział, że jesteś dla niego łatwą forcą, easy money. Maciek Jewtuszko said that you are for him easy money. <laughs> This guy's an old man, Jesus Christ. He's all, look at his, did you see the picture they used? For like, they got me looking good, you know, like a, like a, the front of a page, like a model, you know? And you look at him, it's like, fuck, he looks like he's 50 years old. 
I'm like, no, thinner people are look no, you know, older. That's, that's a disgrace, you know. They're making my picture look bad, you know, putting his face there. So I'm going to make him pay for that. Norman odgraża się, że wyśle Macieja Jewtuszko na emeryturę, że jak spojrzał na jego zdjęcie, to myślał, że ma 50 lat i był zszokowany, ale mimo wszystko wziął tę walkę, bo to dla niego właśnie będą easy money, a nie dla Jewtuszki. But he's taller than you. Ale on... uh, not really, no, he's not overly. I, I stood beside him there. Don't matter. I know he's left-handed, he's left-handed like me, so it makes it a wee bit interesting, two left-handed fighters. When I watch two left-handed fighters, I think it's funny looking, so... We're going to do it. Um, I'm always used to fighting uh, against an orthodox fighter, so we'll see. I'm just going to keep going, chin down, hands up, and just brawl with this guy and just hit him and try to hurt him. That's that's it. That's the game plan. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't remember what you said. Okay. The game plan was uh, was. I says like he's uh, he's not that much taller. We're similar height. He's maybe Tallest. like an inch. He's maybe like an inch you taller. Know, but I'm uh, asking about Tusko. Yeah, 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 Tusko. Yeah, yeah, he's only like an inch or so. Like, but that's nothing. But it's not really that much. And uh, so, what, 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 what's that going to do if he was a little bit taller? It's not going. It's still a big target. Look at the size of his head, man. Do you see the size of that head? It's like a fucking alien. Like seriously, his body is there, but this head has been like lifted and set on there. But we'll see. His head's going to be double the size after. To, że jest dużo wyższy ode mnie, nie stanowi dla mnie problemu. Ma wielką głowę, a będzie miał jeszcze większą powalcę, jak go zleje. Norman, a to nie jest przypadkiem najlepszy moment w twojej karierze. Zarabiasz kasy, jesteś popularny. Wydaje mi się, że chyba to jest taki pik. Is that the best moment of your career? Making money, you're popular, and is that your peak in your career? No, um, no, I like to fight martial arts, I like to fight MMA, is my passion. Um, but I know a lot of stuff happened with the promotion I fought for before, a lot of stuff happened. And it kind of, you know, put me in a different frame of mind, you know. Fuck, doing all this here, doing all that, and then getting cut short in certain things. So I, and fame um, were interested in me, fame and MMA were interested in me to fight. But I really wanted to fight MMA fighters or, I don't know, preferably MMA fighters, but they came up to fight Don Cassius and I was like, right, no problem, that's like, if someone offers you to take some easy money, you're going to take it, you know. If I lift their microphone and say, here, you're going to earn 10,000 for a two minute interview, of course you're going yeah, to do of it, course, of yeah. course, so <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> Kocham mieszane sztuki walki i w tym chciałbym zostać, to jest moja pasja, ale wziąłem walkę z Don Cassio ze względu na kasę, kasa jest dobra, jakbyś ty miał zrobić wywiad przez dwie minuty i dostać kupę kasy, też byś się zgodził, także tak to wygląda. No właśnie, czyli te walki pięściarskie, a teraz jeszcze tutaj pojawili się ludzie, którzy chcieliby z tobą na gołe pięście ewentualnie rywalizować, gdzieś tam Denis Załęcki wyzywał cię na pojedynek, co ty sądzisz o tego typu rywalizacji? What do you think about Denis Załęcki, who wants to fight with you for a bare wrist? It's this, guy, it's this guy trying to be a bully, is he, or something? You know, trying to fight smaller guys, huh? Huh? I think he wants some publicity from me. I think so. But I've got a good friend. If he wants to fight my friend, no problem. I think my friend puts him into a different dimension. <laughs> Norman zapytał, czy ten gościu jest chuliganem, że chce walczyć z mniejszymi. Mam kolegę, który by się chętnie z nim zmierzył. Także jak chcą, nie ma sprawy. No mam, to tak teraz jeszcze rozmawialiśmy tutaj o tych pieniądzach, o tych wszystkich organizacjach. Rzeczywiście myślisz, że kiedyś jeszcze przyjdzie taki czas, że wrócisz do MMA, a jeśli tak, to, to gdzie ewentualnie chciałbyś w tym MMA walczyć? We are talking about good money, which you are earning for the fights right now. Uh, would you like to come back to MMA, to uh, fights in MMA? And if yes, which organization? Um, I know my main promotion was KSW, but we're not really on good terms at the moment, so... But I still don't. I still think in the future I could possibly fight there again. Uh, I would love if I could write the chapter again. If I was to fight again, I think I could do lightweight. I think I could make the weight because I'm quite stubborn. I think just to prove them wrong, you know. I think I could, you know, make the diet right and make the weight perfectly and fight for the lightweight title. I think that this could be possible. But I don't want to try and jump the queue in front of people who's been training and is ready to fight. I'm not that type of person. I would like to earn my way to fight for the title again. That's the picture I would like, but I don't know if it's ever going to happen. So fame MMA has got 
they can bring some MMA fighters for me to fight also. Real fighters, not, you know, like freak fighters or anything. They could bring me some real fighter from, uh, I don't know, uh, Pionk. What's this guy, Pionk? You know, maybe fight this guy. Yep, he's got lots of experience. Um, maybe someone from Brazil or something like that, possibly. But, yeah, we'll see. But MMA is my passion. KSW było moim promotorem i to oni wylansowali mnie tu w Polsce jako zawodnika, ale teraz nie mamy dobrych relacji, niemniej jednak chciałbym jeszcze kiedyś zawalczyć tam o pas w wadze lekkiej, ale teraz fame jest dla mnie rozwiązaniem, oni zapewniają mi coraz lepszych rywali, nie freaków, tylko zawodników MMA i to jest dla mnie ok. I want to ask about your relations with KSW, but you said it's not very good, but did you even talk about your comeback for, for fight? No, my manager quite spoke to the matchmaker for a couple of times and my manager maybe rang the matchmaker and he says, are you ringing me about Norman Park for, yeah, maybe, no, not at the moment. And my manager goes, it's all right because Norman's got so many fights lined up, he's busy at the moment, so uh, once his schedule becomes a wee bit more free, <laughs> maybe we can fight, but I would love to fight there again, I would. Honestly, I would, I would like to fight there again, um, <clears throat> but... Fame MMA has given me good opportunities also to make some good money, the money that uh, I wasted when I was younger. <laughs> so maybe be a wee bit more uh, wise in the head this time. Chciałbym wrócić do KSW i tam jeszcze się sprawdzić. Niemniej jednak Fame daje mi dobre pieniądze. Te wszystkie, które przegrałem za młodu, teraz sobie odbijam właśnie zarabiając w Fame. No właśnie, zarabiasz pieniądze w Polsce. To, to, to jakieś zaskoczenie dla twoich znajomych jest i w ogóle gdzieś tam jak mówisz, że w Polsce walczysz i tutaj akurat jesteś gwiazdą, to jak to tam się odbywa? Jak reagują na to wszyscy ci, którzy pytają cię, co ty teraz robisz? Are your friends are surprised when you are saying to them that in Poland you are star and making good money? Are they surprised? No, they, they know, they know, they know, uh, they just see on my social media, they know that I've got a lot of fans in Poland and uh, I like that, I respect that, but I think they see someone who, you know, comes from a different country and fights and not just one or two fights and then they disappear to some other organisation, they say, oh, this boy likes to fight, he can take a good digging, he can take a good beating and still come back. I think this is what they respect, so... I love the Polish people for that. You know, if they're going to support you, why, why would I say anything bad? Some people say some shit, yep, obviously, that's just life, but fuck it, I'm enjoying myself. Moi znajomi wiedzą, że walczę w Polsce, śledzą moje media społecznościowe między innymi, ale ja szanuję tych rywali, którzy tutaj są, uważam, że to są dobrzy zawodnicy i chciałbym tutaj dalej rozwijać swoją karierę. To jeszcze na koniec tylko zapytam, czy to przygoda z IFM to będzie ostatnia raz tylko taka gdzieś jakie jedno wyzwanie przez Ciebie podjęte, czy gdzieś tam rozmawialiście z tą organizacją też na ewentualnymi kolejnymi występami? Is it fighting for IFM our adventure for you uh, or you will be uh, more often fight for IFM? It's a good opportunity because you know from what I heard they want to come to Belfast, they want to do a show in Belfast and they're not, I know they're a Polish promotion but there's so many uh, promotions in Poland, you know, Babylon, Fen, a lot of bare knuckles shows, there's loads of promotions, so they're going to Germany, Bulgaria, um, they're doing outside Poland more, and they do inside Poland as well, but they says they're interested to come to Belfast, I know we did a, there was a show back home last week in uh, Belfast, and there was a lot of people there, about 6,000 people, so they're very interested in doing this so I can maybe get a couple of my teammates on this fight card. So we've been talking about this and I was like, I don't want to just talk about it, I want to see it on the right and show me the right and then we're good. <laughs> Rozmawiamy o współpracy, ponieważ oni planują gale między innymi w Belfaście, planują w innych europejskich miastach i to by mi odpowiadało. Może paru znajomych bym tam wkręcił też zawodników, ale oczywiście tego co nie ma na papierze nie ma w realu i na tym się skupmy. If you had a chance to rematch again with Gamrot, you will take it? That's never ever going to happen, but if, I, if, if I could rewind it back and uh, made weight properly in a good shape, I think this would have been a better fight. You know, I think it would have been a better fight, but that's in the past. You know, I think about it a few times and uh, a busted face is nothing to me. You know, I've, my face has been busted many a time, but I don't care about that, I'm just kind of pissed that I fucked about with the weight a wee bit and left it too big a weight cut and uh, paid the price for it. <laughs> Nie do końca zrozumiałam końcówki, wybaczcie.
Może ty przetłumaczysz. Nie więcej wszystko wiadomo. Myślę, że spokojnie wszystko wiemy o co chodzi. Myślę, że nie rozumiem the ending of what you say. A ja, tak, people will know. Nie, jest. To są wszystko chyba, tak? Dziękujemy bardzo w takim razie, Norman Park. Dziękujemy.